See that says last call on a GT. Come on now. Come on now. Last call, baby. What it do, word gang? What it do? What it do? Let's get straight to the point, man. Today we're gonna be reviewing this lovely, lovely uh GT Challenger last call edition. Yeah, that's what I said. I said last call edition because that's what it is. It's a last call. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. I'm gonna review it as well as I'm gonna tell you why you should get you should you should could should consider getting this over RT. Okay, let's talk about it. Well, as you can see, usually the ch these challenges, they, they really ain't changed since 2015, man. They look the same. They look the same in the front, which there's nothing wrong with that. You know, they got the beautiful light set up. They got the nice little, when you get to the grilly, you got the nice little chrome little piece right here. Lo I love that little chrome little slide. It's got like nostrils inside the little grilly, which I like that. Then you got your challenger, right the emblem, and then you got your GT emblem. Love it. And these ain't like plastic. These like... So the middle part is metal, but around it is plastic metal. And then you got your little uh, front splitter and front splitter. You got your lane detect, your cruise control uh, lane. Uh, well, not, it's not actually a lane assist. It's like more of a, when you doing a cruise control, it keeps you at a, like a safer, uh, safe distance. Like if he doing 60, you maintain the 60 miles an hour at a safer distance. You know what I mean? It, it's just basically keep you it keeps you safe. It's more like a, a, a warning system as well as a, uh, an assist, assist system. Then you got your fog lights at the bottom. Love the fog lights. I wish Hellcats came with fog lights, but they don't. And I don't think scat, yeah, scat packs do come with uh, fog lights. But then you got your regular, you got your uh, hood. Now, the reason you, you would know that uh, this was a scat pack or a Hellcat. Well, you know it was a Hellcat because it have two nostrils right here too, as well as this one right there. You have one, one right there and one right there. And then we're gonna walk our way to the side. We got those 20 inch wheels. Listen here, this is a GT. And look at these wheels on this GT. It's got the 20 inch wheels with the, the 245. Now the 245 tire, I ain't really feeling that 245 tire. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate it, I don't care if it is a GT. 275s are better all the way around. Not no 245s. That ain't gonna cut it, buddy. But yeah, but we got the nice 20 inch wheels with the Brembos. Yes, I said Brembos. This GT has Brembos because it's the last call edition. So as you can see, it's got the Brembos with the nice color wheels. Uh, these wheels is like an alloy color, like a like a lighter black, like a shinier. It's not black, but as you get closer to as we get closer to it, you can see it's not black. I don't know what color. Maybe granite. I would say it's a granite color on these wheels. You got your nice little Dodge two hashes in, on the uh, emblem in the middle of the uh, wheel. As well as these these Brembos, man, I'm, I'm just astonished they put Brembos on a GT. That's crazy. Great idea. Work our way back. We got the same 20 inch uh, wheel setup, 245s, and then you got your four pistons back here. I believe these are four pistons too. I don't think these are six pistons because they're not as big as the ones on my. Uh, as you see, that they're not as big as the ones on my ZL1, but because uh, they got six pistons. But those look nice. Those four pistons look good. We're gonna work our way to the back. We got the spoiler right here, looking good. We got the spoiler, looking good. We got the dual exhaust, as you can see, dual exhaust. Thing with the dual exhaust on these, if it was a, uh, a RT or better, it would be a real exhaust. I mean, this is still dual exhaust, but what you, what you, this is a dummy pipe, a dummy tip right here. See, as you can see, if you look closer, that's a dummy tip. That's not a real tip. That's worked into the diffuser. That's all into, that's all in the diffuser. But if you was getting an RT, that'd be a solid, that'd be a real tip. And uh, let's pop the trunk real quick. Pop the trunk. You got your Dodge emblem on the back right there, as you can see. It looks good. Pop the trunk. Look at all that space you got. Heli space. We talking heli space right here. Not, not. It's, it's not tight in here. You can, you can fit. You can fit a body in here if you want to. I'm not saying put a body in here. I'm just saying you could. Got the battery in the back. For those who don't know, most Mopars come with the battery in the back. You got your spare tire. Your spare donut. I wouldn't recommend you doing no, driving on that long. But yeah, let's go ahead and slide that down. Real nice. You know it's got the iconic lights in the back. We love the, we love those Challenger lights. Never gets old. Never gets old. Got the nice little chrome gas uh, gas cap. I could I couldn't talk for a second. I said, I, 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 I. <laughs> let's get inside. And see what we got. As you can see, we definitely got lane assist. You can see lane assist in the mirror. Let you know that you got the lane assist. Open it. We got the memory, memory for memory for your seats. Got the memory for the seats. A little memory buttons. One, two, three. Uh, same little basic setup as all uh, challenges always had. You know, you got your mirrors, your mirrors, 
control your mirrors you got to control your windows to lock your windows and all that lock your doors lock your windows and uh chrome little uh locks we got your alloy uh handles working with an alpine system we go working with an alpine sound system not the greatest sound system but it's still a great system not the greatest but it still is a great one N nice thing about this gt last car metal pedals we got the metal pedals also we got the eight inch screen look at me 160 on the dash i ain't know i didn't know a gt could do 160 i didn't never i never knew that got 160 on the dash we got the flat bottom steering wheel as you can see this is a flat bottom steering wheel in a gt we got the nice little um I don't know what color we would call it. What color we would call this? Like an off light tannish, no, uh, grayish granite. Granite. We looking like granite, a little granite. Um, like where you put, put, put the carbon fi carbon fiber. In. Got a little granite going on. Got the moon roof. This thing is nice, man. Got your little Challenger emblem. Alcantara leather, as you can see, Alcantara leather. But you know what they should have did, though, to be honest? What they should have did with the GT, you know how they always put the Hellcat sign or Scat Pack? They should have put a GT right there. That would have been special. That would have been real special. Also, I wish they would have put, like, GT. Instead of putting Dodge right there, that's so basic. They should have put GT right there. GT, if you got a GT, put GT, Hellcat, Scat Pack, RT, so on and so on. You know what I'm talking about. And as you see, Alcantara leather in the back. It's just a nice overall car. But what I want to talk to you about... It's why you should get this car over an RT. Listen, an RT and a scat pack, it's going to cost you a lot more money being loaded like this car. This car is fully loaded. This GT is fully loaded. And like I always tell people, from the from off the line, this car will beat a GT. And it will run with a scat pack off the line. This, is, this, this car is all-wheel drive, so I mean, do the math. Do the math. 300 horsepower, do the math. Spin it if it's spinning, it ain't winning. Basically, what I'm saying, and this car ain't gonna be doing a lot of spinning, so it's gonna get get down and get busy. And this car ain't as fast as a GT, definitely. I mean, a RT and a Scat Pack, definitely not as fast. I'm talking about after you get up to like 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, that's when that Hemi gonna kick in and hawk this car down. But you getting the look, is what I'm saying. You getting the look. Everything that you would get in a Scat Pack, you getting here. Everything you get in the RT, you would get here. But you are not gonna get this kind of look from a uh, rt for this price this is forty four thousand dollars forty four thousand dollars for a rt you might not even be able to get a rt for forty four thousand no more but you darn sure ain't gonna be able to get all that was coming here this thing is fully loaded it's got everything you can ask for in a challenger and you name it it's got it so what i'm trying to say is if your money is funny and you can't afford to get an rt that's fully loaded why not get a gt that's fully loaded. You get what I'm saying? Why not get a GT that's fully loaded? Look at this GT. You can't tell me if this car, if this GT rolled right past you, what would, what you gonna be thinking? Let's be honest. Scat Pack, RT, Hellcat, Slim Body. We know what we gonna be thinking. Cause I'm gonna be thinking. It don't look like no. This don't look like no GT. This does not look like a GT. Nothing about this is, says GT. Nothing about it. It doesn't have any badges on it. So whoever ordered this ordered it without the badges. And it's crazy. This thing is crazy. Come on. When have you seen a GT with wheels like this? Look at those wheels. 20 inch wheels on the, with the 245 tire. Not a 245 tire. I'm not liking a 245 tire. And I know you're not going to like a 245 tire. But you can always put 275s on there. You can always put 275s on there. As you can see. Look at this. This thing is a lovely vehicle. And I'm saying a lot of people can't. I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, look at this car. This is a GT. I'm gonna take you over here to a RT. This is an RT. Look at this RT. It's nice, right? It's definitely a nice car. Got the 20 inch wheels, but we know that the GT got 20 inch wheels. The GT wheels are better than this. Let me show you the GT wheels. Look at these wheels, and let's go look at the GT wheels. Look at the GT's wheels. Better wheel. That's a better wheel right there. Look at the front of this, this GT. Look at the front of that GT. Look at the front of that RT. You can't only only read only way you can tell the difference is that says RT right there. And that says and this one says GT. Not a very big difference. See what I'm saying? Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. This car actually looks better. The GT actually looks better than this particular RT. Let's see what this particular RT has. Don't got no Brembos, as you can see. This RT don't even got no Brembos. Got the 345 badge on the side. How much they want for this RT? 
49,000. They want 40, so just say 50,000 for this particular one. Does it, does it got everything that that GT got? It's got the same leather, same metal seats. Does it have a flat bottom steering wheel? The GT does have a flat bottom steering wheel. Same granite color right there. Don't got a moonroof, as you can see. You don't have a moonroof. Got everything, same screen. They both got 160 on the dash. Both of y'all got 160 on the dash. So, everything else is the same. Same memory seats. So everything is the same. Now, when again, when we get a little in-depth to it, remember I was saying this, the dual exhaust, this is a real, this is a real pipe tip. Real tip right there. That's the only difference right there. You don't get the real tips on there, but come on now, it's the same car. Same car, and you saving six, seven, eight thousand dollars. Same trunk space. Look at that. Let's open that. You got night, but they got the Harmon Carmen right here. Now you only got the Harmon Carmen now. <laughs> they got Harmon Carmen with this one. But other than that, everything's the same. You get a better wheel package. You get a sunroof. You get the same uh, top speed, same screen. But they, they don't got a flat bottom steering wheel. You do, and they want pretty much fifty thousand dollars for this one and it don't even got no brembos this one right here don't got no brembos still a nice car i'm not saying it's not a nice car don't don't don't, don't get in the comments saying i'm not saying it's a nice car it is a lovely car but what i'm saying is you may not be able to afford forty nine thousand dollars your budget may be forty five thousand dollars and for forty five thousand dollars this is actually forty four but for forty four forty four thousand dollars which would fall into your budget Look what you get, 20 inch wheels, Brembo's, flat bottom steering wheel, uh, leather, fully loaded, every every amenity you just get, you get the leather, you get the screen, like I said, 160 on the dash, you get the, but you got the sunroof. Come on now, what? you don't got the Harman Carmen, but you still got a nice system, the Alpine, still a nice system, you know? You still got a little speed, you got the flat, Look at that. Hold on. We got we can't forget about the flat bottom steering wheel. We can't forget about that. Come on now, flat bottom steering wheel. Everything you want in the car. This car has it. So for those who can't afford a uh, RT, your, your, your pockets ain't right right now, your, your money funny, and you can't afford to get an RT, don't go get a used RT, which you can, but if you don't want a used RT and you want to get your car right now, get you this GT. Come get you a GT, last car. Look at all the amenities. This thing is fully loaded for $44,000. $44,000, you can get a fully loaded car. Everything you can want in a Challenger is here. Only thing you're missing is the Hemi. And we all know, you're never going to hit that top speed. You're never going to hit that top speed. This is my car. You think I ever hit the top speed in this ZL1? No, never. And I used to own a Hellcat, never hit the top speed. I had a Scat Pack, never hit the top speed. I had an RT and I never hit the top speed. So let's not act like we're going to be hitting the top speed in these cars because we're not but uh i just wanted to touch bases with y'all work gang i just wanted to give y'all my thoughts of why you should get a, a gt over an rt nice rt that gt just got it's got way more going on for it you get way more amenities for way more for your bang for your buck so for those who might be kind of iffy like man maybe i should just wait a little while or i can't really afford to get the car i want to challenge it so bad but i, I want that look Look at this. You're going to get the scat pack look with this. Scat pack look with this. So just be just 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 be a little be open minded and uh, get a GT a try. But with that being said, man, I just want to say shout out to the word gang. I appreciate y'all joining me for today for this review. It's a lot of lovely cars out here. As you can see, hey, we had Lock Monday. Shout out to Lock Monday. As you can see, shout out to them. And uh, yeah, man, get a GT a try. I love GT cars. These are nice cars. Love them, man. Go ahead and give them a try. And uh, y'all stay up, man. Y'all keep it funkadelic. Keep it, keep it, keep it real copacetic. Let's pop the hood before we go. We're gonna pop the hood before we go, real quick. And then we're gonna slide on up out of here. You dig? I just want y'all to see what's under the hood. Let y'all see that 3.6 VVT. Ah. Bam. We got the 6.3.6 .6 VVT. Like I said, for those who want to know, oh, he lying. That's the last call. You see that says last call on a GT. Come on now. Come on now. Last call, baby. Y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay co-static, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend about me. And hey, I'm going to leave it how I always leave it, baby. Stay away from negative people. Stay with the positive. Do positive things. Believe in yourself. 
And uh, it's your boy, T Light. Oh, yeah, big shout out to the werewolf gang. <laughs> Much love to the light crew. You already know how I feel about you, baby. Y'all stay up, and I'm, I'm, I'm up out of here, man. You see that big boy right there? Should we get a cold start? Let's get a cold start. Let's see if we can get a cold start before we slide on up out of here. Jitting. Probably not gonna be loud, but let's see what we got. Ooh, that sound good. <laughs> that thing sound good, man. We up out of here, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay up. Bye. Be the fam, that's what they call me. Promise that you never be lonely. Be the fam, that's what they call me.